Hey you guys, welcome to another episode of this on our show. Now, every time I say something about Xbox One or anything that I do with Microsoft, times will come out of nowhere and just like, no, it ain't right. You don't know what you're talking about, Deshaun. He don't technically say that, but that's basically what he's saying. Yes, Tom, I'm talking about you but you watching this. But anyway, um, a lot of people are actually saying that Xbox, well, Microsoft made a huge mistake when they announced the Xbox One S and then they uh, now the other S, but this S is a bigger S, the damn Scorpio. Meaning a more powerful, basically a next generation console coming out next year. While they introduce a better Xbox One with a, the ability to play um, 4K uh, movies. It's slimmer and more sleeker. It will fit perfectly in your entertainment uh, center. And um, they announced that it coming out this August, but they already know if you wait a year or probably a year or a couple of months, the next damn Xbox will come out. Now, a lot of people say that was stupid on Xbox part. Me personally, I don't think it's stupid because there are a lot of people that probably might pick that up just to watch 4K movies. Because, you know, sometimes I'll be casual like that too with my PS4. Because mostly I'll be looking at Crunchyroll, Hulu, or Netflix or NBA Game Time. I'm on one of those. And I'm periodically doing those more than I actually um, watch, I'm well, actually playing video games in some cases. Like like right now, for instance, out the orange and new black is out, so I'm mostly watching that, and me and Chris are gonna review that pretty soon. But anyway, a lot of people are casual. A lot of people watch movies on their stuff, and it'd be perfect for them. Like I risk a review tag you say actually stated that um they got a whole lot of smart TV little um thing like the Nvidia seal and stuff like that, but they ain't got no up to date like new console games or none of that. So you get the opportunity to play the brand new game plus you can have all the media that these little damn smart TV Android devices actually have around the same I think the NVIDIA seal cost the same amount as the Xbox One Ugh, people are already knocking on my damn door but anyway the NVIDIA seal is basically the same part as the Xbox One the NVIDIA seal got games like I don't know Borderlands and the Blood what is it, Blood pre secret at Resident Evil 5 Game that you could play it on the damn old Xbox 360 or the PS3, while the Xbox One S have all the new games. Of course, you could do all the all the media apps and stuff like that too. You see, it is a good thing if you look at it in that point of view. But you already have a Xbox One. There ain't no point getting the Xbox Slim. And not to mention, if you do not have an Xbox One at all, you were just holding off like until they got some game because the Xbox do not have games. I swear, the Xbox do not have games. And then you just sit there like, okay, I wait for the games to come out on the Xbox One. I still want to stick with my 360 as soon as they give me something worthwhile picking up. And they hit you with this shit right here. So for those who are waiting, <laughs> shit, they don't get the uh, Scorpio. But here's the thing about the uh, Scorpio that actually strike my damn uh, interest with Spill Spencer as he stated that you do not have a 4K TV. There is no point of getting a Scorpio. So does that mean that they're going to have the same type of game but going to be rendered into 4K? So if you don't have a 4K TV, you won't be able to tell the difference. If that is the case, I think the play that Neo might just destroy the Scorpio due to the fact that the Neo can actually work on a regular TV as opposed to. And that one statement alone might be the damn thing that Phil Spencer should never say. Like, if I don't have a 4K TV, so you telling me that I said I spent like a thousand dollar 4K TV, pick this expensive piece of shit up at the same time with no games, and um, spend there no shit about fifteen hundred, close to two thousand dollars, getting everything that your ass need for it. And that'll turn out a lot of people. Cause a lot of people do not have 4K TVs. I don't have one yet. And when I do pick up a 4K TV, I'm gonna um get a place as a Neil whenever that come out, but that'll be, that'll be next year where I move. I'll have a 4K TV in my front room, put the Neil on there. That, that's what I'm looking for. But I'm quite sure the Neil won't come out no time soon due to what uh, Microsoft did with that as far as um, Scorpio was assist Terra Fox. And they, I know that, I know um, Play Neil for have uh, 4.5 they oh shit, we gotta um we gotta update our console a little bit, make us a little bit a little bit more powerful just to rival this thing so we gotta push it back so everything probably pushed back by next year so i guess that sony gonna come up with a play a playstation slim or playstation 4k to be able to uh, do the same thing that the xbox slim to do while they wait 
well, while they work on it, they'll kneel to have a better model of the place to support. But, yeah, for those who do not have an Xbox One and you are a Microsoft fan, you should wait for the Scorpio because there's no point in getting a damn slim. If you do not have an Xbox already and you are not a casual gamer, there ain't no point in getting a slim. It's the truth. But anyway, tell you guys, thank you. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.